by university lecturers. The incomplete payment of salaries by the federal government has continued to generate reactions from Nigerians. While some lecturers consider the action a breach of trust, the students, like other Nigerians, are worried over the consequences. TVC News Lanry Ademi in Gombe State spoke to some lecturers and students over on the views of the latest action by the federal government. For eight months, lecture halls were closed. Lecturers in public universities went on strike to press home their demand that the agreement entered into with the federal government in 2009 be implemented. After protracted negotiations and interventions by influential individuals and the courts, the union shelved its strike. Again, lecturers have been shortchanged with half salaries contrary to the agreement. After the direct intervention by the president himself, he made promise that lecturers should resume back to work and he's going to look into these issues, especially the withheld salaries of the eight months. You know, you say no work was done. So why should you expect him to bring results? If truly no work was done. It's project supervision is a sessional thing. I have not less than 15 undergraduate projects I'm supervising. University students see the danger. They hope the government will prioritize education and honor the agreement with ASU. We are begging the federal government, please, to solve the issue for that uh, ASU so that to continue our studies. Because I get admission since 2020, but now still I'm in 100 levels. The real worry is the lasting effect of the back and forth on morale. My discussion with these intellectuals made me realize how bad things have degenerated. If lecturers are pushed to the world, they will become the normal Nigerian worker. The normal Nigerian worker in the sense that there is no office you can go in this country today and get service without you putting something on the table. The eight months industrial action embarked upon by university lecturers may be over, but the issues that led to it are far from resolved. It is crucial that in the interest of Nigeria's education system, the federal government acts in good faith and resolve these challenges once and for all. Landry Adiemi. TVC News, Gombe.